What's up, my Finan loves? It's Miss Finan D coming to you all from Vienna Entertainment News. Okay, so I was about to post this video. I was done with editing and everything, and I'm like, you know, let me check Kenya Moore page to see if there's anything that I missed. You know, her page, Brooklyn page, and then I was hit with this right here. I, I don't know what else to say. So. I'm going to say the same things that I've probably said in this video. So when you get to that part of the video and I sound repetitive, my apologies. But I'm throwing this in the beginning because I already finished the video and trying to place this smack in the middle is going to confuse everything. But my goodness, look. Yes, Kenya Moore, she always looks stunning. I get it, she's married and she's a mother, but it's just something different about this season. She is just shutting it down in the fashion department. I mean, this look is just everything. You might say, okay, Vina, no big deal. She got on some purple shoes, purple top, and gold and whatever. It's just, just everything. She's just everything. Let me quickly read some of the comments of the people who's agreeing with me. She made her more in gorgeous, okay? She put gorge, all right? Um, basically, for those of you who want to meet Kenya, she will be at the BravoCon, all right? This person wrote, will you be at, at BravoCon or else I'm not spending 1,500 plus fees? Kenya responded, yes, I'll be there. There you go, girl, did you get a stylist? You've always had style, but <laughs> motherhood and marriage looks good on you. Exactly what I just said. Girl, that waistline is no joke. You look great. Miss Daly, mistress, <laughs> gets married, has a baby, and don't know how to act. <laughs> Looking good, Mama Daly. Can't wait to see more of your little family in Brooklyn on the new Real House of Atlanta season. Oh, Mistress Daly is playing no games. You were always fired, but it seems like you've kicked up a few notches. You better serve the people okay and listen the list goes on and on but i just wanted to read this you know, a few comments to show that everyone agrees with me so let's go ahead and get into what i already recorded but i just had to add this in here she looks amazing so let's go ahead and talk about baby brooklyn first before we get into her mom and everything that's going on all right so kenya posted these pictures right here and of course what i always say a durable baby brooklyn happy baby you know she got a little bowl situation hairband going on she's always smiling such a joy so precious kenya wrote happy baby miracle baby all right and then after kenya posted that image she also posted this one a brooklyn sleepy she's so cute oh her little earrings in your ear and all that hair long day will post when i wake up <laughs> of course <laughs> hey honey bunny uncle brandon's angel oh yeah brooklyn been working a long shift father god you place this little angel in our lives we just want to thank you for her and her parents amen oh i can't respond it thank you that's you know she been beautiful all right and our girl is nine months <laughs> nine months i can crawl i have two more teeth coming up top and i'm pulling myself up my first word is neighborhood no one believes my mommy but i did say it <laughs> that's one of the moments you hope you had your phone in your hand and you were recording to capture it i'm loving the colors our baby look at our baby getting big she is just too beautiful look at brooklyn oh even when she tries to be listen girl with baby all that kenya uh yes hair care product for kids her face on the boxes modeling for kids all that stuff i mean because she doesn't even have to try this is a photographer drawer okay those photographers that work with you know younger kids and younger models and things like that and the parents basically have to like like do funny faces or do something for the kid to pay attention not brooklyn she sees a camera and she's ready well based of what we see on social media she sees a camera and she's ready to go okay so happy nine months to our baby brooklyn 
and congratulations on all of your milestones and all of the things that you are accomplishing. Cinder Billy, the gorgeous Cinder Billy, posted these pictures of Brooklyn and she wrote, did I put Brooklyn to sleep on a plane or did she put me to sleep LOL? Trust me, she did not go down without a fight, child. Got me missing mine. She tagged her daughter, Noelle, as a baby. At Kenya Moore is passed out beside us getting some much needed rest. TT sense, okay? So, and Kenya responded, my babies. So, it's beautiful to see Kenya and Cynthia's friendship continues to blossom and, you know, that the trust is there and you know Kenya getting some sleep while um, you know Cynthia is watching Brooklyn um, I'm wishing Kenya Moore and her family nothing but the best you know you guys saw the video Look like she had an amazing time out there in Canada. Now, let me also quickly um, go and you know, there are a few comments that I do want to read about other outfits that she wore, and then I'm going to go ahead and end it. Edges intact, hair down her back, <laughs> legs snatched, and hmm, super fat. Mistress Kenya Moore daily, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and of course, he corrected himself. He meant her. Okay. Now, this you're on point with. You got to admit, she looks good. You can't deny Kenya's beauty, and she's funny as bleep. Hit her or love her. She's great TV and a huge part of her Housewife of Atlanta. The most stunning housewife I've seen in a while. The queen is bringing the heat. A mother, a wife, who said she could never, she did that. Kenya and Erica Jane, of course, from the Rare Housewife of Beverly Hills, are the most beautiful women on the whole Rare Housewives franchise. Kenya has a different kind of glow, though, Miss USA and Kenya looks amazing. She looks great. Kenya stepping on their necks with the classy fashion this season. She would have killed Tanya and Milo on the fashion that time, fashion in Destiny that time. Kenya can make a plain white t-shirt look like high fashion. Ooh, the white t-shirt shade. She looks good and hot mama, my favorite housewife. Flawless, love me some Kenya. Where can I get this dress? She is so stunning. I love it. She looks good. Queen things. They aren't ready for Mistress Daily. Foot on them next. Like I said, I've been talking all month about, you know, Kenya Moore. She's always been stunning. You know, her fashion is always, you know, amazing. You know, A1 and all of that, right? There's just something different this season. Yes, I know she's a wife and she's a mother and she had that glow. But there's just something different with her fashion this season. I'm like, yes, she is not playing, okay? I mean, I'm on her page and you can just see, I mean, this one right here. Of course, the shot, the hair situation. This, this right here this one i mean she's killing it you know even in a regular just hanging with my sis cynthia billy white dress she snatched and all of that you know look at her so anyways the ladies look great but let's focus on kenya then after that picture if that picture wasn't enough okay i'm gonna read some comments on her page real quick of course brandon and i oop <laughs> That's my best friend. That's my friend. Yes, that's my best friend. <laughs> Brooklyn's and mommy, the one. All right. Child, don't be saying the one. You know who be saying that now. 
Toya from Married to Medicine, you better give them sexy wife and beautiful mommy. The snapback is serious. Kenya responded with an emoji. Robin from Real House of Potomac, girl, you are fire. Kenya responded with a kissy face and thank you, babe, okay? And, and the beauty queen is back. Love you, diva. Cheryl Lee Ralph, yes. See, this is what I'm talking about. When I did that on Loretta Divine, you know, a few days or over a week ago, and she was on Wendy Williams, and whether she was joking or not, she said that Kenya claimed that the show that, you know, she's on one episode was her show. When that's not what Kenya said, go ahead and watch it. And a lot of the comments was like, oh, come on, Loretta. Why, you know, why people that Kenya look up to and respect and have shown nothing but love to always want to shade her? And that was like the tone of the comments. So it's nice. It's nice to see, you know, legend Cheryl Lee Ralph, you know, on her page and just giving her props. I like that. It was just a simple comment, but that's my point. She did not have to go to Kenya Moore Instagram page and make a comment. She took it upon herself and she did that. And that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I love that. You are always gorgeous, but motherhood just gives you a different glow. And there she go against truth. And she went ahead and posted this right here. This is what she wore to the airport. I'm like, you know, first of all, I know they've been doing this for a long time. And the heel is the it's the more, you know, bigger heel. It's not the skinny heel. So, you know, in as much as people are like, girl, that's your airport outfit, your feet is gonna hurt. But I think the heel, you know, and I'm sure Kenya was comfortable, but she looked amazing. Snatch. And you already know how I feel about certain colors against our complexion. So I'm here for this. Okay. I'm going to quickly read some of the comments. <laughs> uh, Cynthia Bailey. And where is my photo credit? I like that. <laughs> No one puts baby in the corner, LOL. This person will sure have had on silver shoes, the golden match, as you can see. It's about 150 something comments, okay? And of course, I'm not gonna read people dragging this lady because you know Team Twirl don't play, okay? They don't play when it comes to their Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> I love the type of support that she gets. Okay. Kenya responded, my bag has gold chains. All chains, all medals always go with white. Okay. Save your fashion advice. Oof. Okay. Okay, Kenya. Tell it, sis. <laughs> I know, right? Like, really? So people was just basically dragging this person. Now, I clicked on this person's name, and I went to that Instagram page. And let's just say, you know what? I'm going to keep my opinion to myself because I do my best to not be mean over here. So, But yeah, I'm not going to put her on blast and put her page on blast either. Because, you know, people are quick to comfort people, read people. And then when the celebrities return the favor and put them on blast, then people start saying, oh, the celebrity is a bully. The celebrity is a celebrity and it comes from the territory and it's not fair. But it's like... What gave you the right to come to someone's space? Now, this person is talking about fashion, okay? We can agree to, we can agree to disagree and move on. You know, it's not really nasty compared to some of the nasty comments I've read. But I always find it interesting. We're going to go ahead and move on. And then, of course, I already posted about this. Kenya was out there in Toronto, Canada. She was in this picture right here. Of course, I cut it where her hand is because she's promoting a and of course Kenya posted this beautiful picture right here of her hair you know and she's just you know natural day and thank you Kenya more hair all my no weave more hair care 24 inches and she tagged Sally Beauty okay it's a video right here I didn't do my hair today because I was in Just let it all hang out. Now, I do want to talk about this picture real quick. You know, if you look at this picture, you see that Candy's feet is a little dark and Kenya's feet is dark. It's the way how the camera flash work. This is a professional picture. This is not a picture that any of the girls posted 
and edit it okay this is a professional photographer at the event who took this picture and the way how his flash and the shadow and how the lights are bouncing off their skin that's where that is from because it was people like oh kenya for forgot to pull lighters on her feet as if like candy feet is not black as well some of the girls feet next to kenya is black and it's crazy how in the video I'm over there like, oh my gosh, you look stunning. This dress is everything. Yes, come through legs. This color against a complexion. Yes, it's everything. And that's all I'm seeing. And then you go and read some of the comments and it's like, oh, she forgot to put her lights, or you know, the lighting that she used on her feet. And I'm like, of course. Because she's looking so good, of course, people are going to go and find something negative and then here my final loves thank you all for your love and support if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up also turn on notifications so when i do post you where they're posted and i will see you all in the comment section remember to always have the god bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation have a great day guys god bless you